first question is, did I touch the ball enough? And if the answer to that question is yes, good. If the answer is no, I didn't touch the ball enough, why not? Was it, was it my positioning? Like, was I making myself available for the ball? Was I maybe ducking out and maybe it was a hard game and I was playing midfield and I kind of knew that if I got the ball, I'd, I'd, I'd be under pressure, so maybe I wasn't really asking for as much as I could. Was the reason I didn't touch the ball because I wasn't making myself available? Because deep down, I didn't really want the ball. But I knew it was a hard game to be in. In the easy games, we all want the ball. The harder games, sometimes people duck out of actually really wanting it. Right? And we've all had those moments. If I did get the ball, the next question is, well, was I happy with my number of connections? So if I touched the ball 100 times, how many stupid mistakes did I make? Like how many times did I really clearly make an error that wasn't needed? I touched the ball 100 times, I made five errors. It's not too bad with 100 touches, right? Kate touched the ball in the game 100 times. She's probably made four or five mistakes, just that we saw a second ago, at the very beginning. It's not that bad when you think of how many passes that you made. But of course, you're at that number lower, right? Then the final question is, what did I actually produce? Alex, you're making notes on your finger. Do you have paper? Make it on paper, and you might be able to get more descriptive than writing on your finger. Um, so the next one is, once you've got how many, did I touch the ball enough? Did I eliminate the needless errors? And then what did I produce? Did I produce anything good? If I'm a defender, did I produce game-saving challenges? Did I produce good build-up where I've settled it down with my other defenders and my goalkeeper, my six, to give my midfielders a chance to get on the ball? If I'm a midfielder, did I, did I connect a lot of my passes that gave my team most of the ball? Did I create any goal? So once I kind of go through how many touches that I have, I start to six. In this game, you don't have to make a numerical number. How many times did you touch the ball? Were you happy with how many times you touched the ball? Do you think you could have got on the ball more? And then how many times you got on the ball, was you happy with how many stupid errors you made? Was you happy with the fact that in the video you clearly 10 times made errors that you probably wouldn't repeat if you did it again? And how many times did you do something where you're like, no, I'm happy with that? That was actually pretty good. I won it and I stepped in and I played it. Or, you know what, Mia and Kate, we got the ball, we played four little balls back and forth to each other. Then I squished it to belt. Uh, that's pretty good. Right, so ask yourself as you're watching the video, like, do I want to get the ball more? Do I want to eliminate my errors more? Do I want to improve my productivity and being braver? And maybe try to influence the game a little bit more. Okay. Um, 